All right. Um, so the book that I chose was Teaching Argument Writing by George Hillix Jr. And it is geared towards teachers um, in the sixth grade through high school classroom. If I were to summarize the core content of this book in a sentence, I would say that this book discuss, discusses what an argument is, um, how to teach it, and why it's relevant to teach it in schools, with a specific focus on critical thinking and writing in an academic environment from sixth grade to high school, and the content will carry students like all the way through college. The book gives real scenarios that the author experienced and then breaks down the pedagogical elements he used in teaching. There's also tons of example assignments and narratives of how this teaching would look in the classroom. Um, I chose this book because argument writing is my personal favorite writing to do, but it seemed like a challenge to teach. Um, this is because I didn't struggle with this style of writing. When I was going through high school, it came really naturally to me. So I wanted to make sure that um, I was aware of the needs of my students in regards to this type of writing that I may not anticipate because I didn't have those struggles. So um, I picked this book thinking that it might give me some insight into some needs that students would have. This book highlights some common classroom um, argument writing concerns and paints a picture of what I might encounter as a teacher. So this book will be a useful reference for creating lessons and adapting lessons. Um, in terms of the actual content of an argument, Hillix breaks down elements of an argument in a teachable way and includes specific classroom and writing vocabulary to use with the students, such as data, warrants, qualifiers, stuff like that, that they're going to re-encounter in their um, later academic like college writing. Um, one concept that stood out to me from the beginning of the book was the concept of flow and how to create an environment that stimulates flow. Flow being when you're just so engaged and focused on your writing that time kind of moves so fast and you're not really paying attention to the world outside. So that's flow. Um, at first, I didn't see how flow was something that could be applied to argument writing. When it came up, I was thinking more like... Um, creative writing when you get so engrossed in your activity. But um, writing is writing, and if a student has the research and understanding and the environment is right and they're engaged in their argument, their piece, and their content, then flow could easily be achieved in argument writing. Students could totally get into it. And in hindsight, like I definitely experienced flow when I was whenever I do argument writing. Um, another piece of information that I found interesting was the practice of writing an argument um, by using research first and then letting that influence your thesis instead of coming up with a thesis and then doing your research based on your predetermined thesis. This seems like it would make the actual process of drafting a thesis and argument much easier because the student already has an understanding of the content. It also allows them to learn their if their topic and uh, brainstormed thesis ideas uh, can even be defended. Um, this is in contrast to the way that I learned to write, where you come up with an outline and a thesis and then you do research that only supports your pre-designed plan. You look for your specific topic points and sometimes you don't get the kind of content that could support your argument as well as if you'd done the research first. Um, so this seems more limiting to the argument than the methods that Hillick suggested. And I definitely will be flipping my perspective of the writing process in terms of doing research and then coming up with a thesis in my classroom. To close, uh, this book was and will be a helpful teaching tool for me. I will definitely use the activities described and teaching methods uh, used in the book in my own classroom. This book would be a fantastic resource for high school uh, English teachers who are teaching argument writing and middle school. I just it's the activities are definitely higher level. So I will be looking into Hillix's other teaching books and using them as resources as well. It was a great book. All right.